Let's put our hands together for Brandon as he coming up. So Brandon got saved in our ministry about five months ago, and he was invited by his friend Manny. And so Brandon, can you please share your first experience when you came to church? What did you experience? Uh, I thought it was crazy. Like everyone was praying out loud, and none of the churches I've ever gone to, no one's ever done that, and I thought it was weird. What happened to you when you uh, gave your life to Jesus Christ and you came up uh, on the stage? Um, I felt really warm and happy and just super excited. You felt the, the touch of God in your life at that day? Yes. Okay, awesome. Can you please share, how was your life before you gave your life to Jesus Christ and what were the things you were struggling with? Um, I wasn't happy. I was depressed all the time. Um, I was addicted to pornography and tobacco uh, and I just, I just wasn't happy. Um, I was a Christian, but I didn't live a Christian life at all. Uh, I thought that, you know, I didn't need to go to church to believe in God, and which is true, but still. Okay. So what happened afterwards, after you gave your life to Jesus Christ, rededicated your life? How is your life different now? Um, I'm not depressed at all anymore, ever. Um, I don't have any problems with pornography or um, tobacco at all. I have no cravings for any of it, and I'm just happy all the time, and i got a better relationship with my family, too. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for God. Thanks, God. I know you mentioned to me earlier that uh, when you came to one of the prayer lines, that's when the tobacco addiction was broken off of your life, and can you share with us what were the things you're trying to do to stop smoking and you could not succeed? Um, I tried the Nicorette gum stuff, um, I tried the patch, I started when I was 14 smoking and so I've just tried a whole bunch of things and they never worked and so it was just God that I needed. Amen, amen. And God set him free completely from addiction to smoking. Let's put our hands together for God one more time and uh, Brendan, can you please share a word of advice to people who might be uh, struggling with addictions or they have not given their lives to God yet. What can you tell them? Um, I would say to give your life completely to God and if you already have and it's not working, just give it more time and trust in Him and He will set you free from it. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing.